blessings in the light and love of the prime creative force, source supreme, most high, Mama God, and her original wonder twin. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the air we breathe. Thank you for the moisture, the atmosphere. All these things we give thanks. I feel you know what time it is. It's time to feel the heal to get real. Let your triggers be your treasures and let your lessons be your blessings. So, I would love to share with you, we have to go back in time about four months. I went on a journey and then from there I went on a medicine mushroom journey. And this past weekend when I was driving home, three hours and 33 minutes, there was some things that resurfaced. And part of being a galactic emissary of love, unity, bliss, Christ consciousness is divine transparency, divine vulnerability. We are all one, we are all connected. When one hurts, we all hurt. When one heals, we all heal. I am sharing with you something that I've been resisting to share. So whatever resists, whatever you resist will persist. So what I learned, <clears throat> excuse me, is that I felt so unworthy that during this life review on this sacred mushrooms, it was a life review. And it took about 17 years, well, 1,700 layers of an onion. Let's just say that. I feel 1,700 because in 17 years, there's at least that many layers. Before I felt that I was worthy enough to breathe, to have the breath of life. That's how unworthy I felt. If you feel unworthy, you're not alone. What's the solution to this? Radical forgiveness of yourself, radical forgiveness of others, understanding that you are not your past. That is what made you who you are today. All these experiences, life is a school. And we came here to learn. And it might seem very, <laughs> um, you know, harsh some of these lessons nonetheless we came here we signed up for it we all have soul contracts once you can get over feeling unworthy then you can step into your divine role and be that beacon of light that lighthouse in the darkest of nights and for others to see how you come through whatever experience that you came through share your story let people know that they're not alone and how you got out of a situation that you maybe never thought you'd get out of. And yes, that's a lot of unworthiness. I reviewed every single thing, you know, that had either been done to me or went unnoticed right down to kindergarten when I gave my kindergarten teacher some dandelions and she basically said that all oh, these are weeds so interesting dandelions you can eat they're uh, you know in salad greens you can make dandelion wine you can do all kinds of things with dandelions so they're not just weeds to me and um, so yes unworthiness can be overcome if you haven't done an ego death ceremony put that first on the list and when, watch it burn. Watch that paper burn in its entirety and you're going to feel a weight off of you. And if you still feel that way the next day, do it again. And um, I wish you all well. Peace, love, and joy, and harmony, my friends and family. Thank God for loving me. And we have forever and eternity to love.
and words are powerful. I am affirmations are, are powerful. Whatever you say I am, that's what you are. Uh, maybe you don't have a lot of money and you say I'm broke. Well then, you're going to be broke. I am abundance now. You have to faith it, F-A-I-T-H, until you make it. And there's more to that, um, the sacred mushroom story. This is what I've been guided to share with you today. I love you all. Namaste. Live life a living prayer. And mom and pops will take you there. Peace and aloha. Bye for now.